I'm just not growing with with the job. Yes, it pays the bills, but how can you use the isolation time to yeah. to be better? You quit your job today, awesome. What do you pour your energy into? I just want to be a better musician. You know, I've been at this job for the last three, three and a half years, you know, um, and the job has been what has supported, you know, my music. Yeah. And now I'm at a point where, you know, it's time to it's time to go ahead and take off and actually do this music thing full time. So the plan was to actually like, you know, um, leave the job and move to uh, to Europe, you know, wow, um, dude. Europe. All right. Yeah. But like. Corona happened, you know, yeah. so now I'm just, I'm just waiting. And, you know, I know personally, I don't want to have to go back into work, you know, so, um, but I got provided with the opportunity to work from home to the end of the year. Now, this wasn't something that I was expecting that I'll get. So on the one hand, it's like, okay, well, this is great. Well, I could stay from home and work on, on the other hand, you know, I feel so deep in my comfort zone. I don't have any, any interest in like leveling up or like, you know, pushing, you know, what I do with the company for, I, I have none, zero, you know? Um, and so it, it, it is that question of, well, why are you still doing it? Cause it's cause of the paycheck, you know, um, do I have enough money to sustain me for, for a while? If I were to go ahead and, you know, go through this stuff full time. Yes. That was a plan. I've been working on this for the past 18 months. You know, and so now I have, I feel like I have all the cards in my hand. Yes, I could work from home till the end of the year, but I don't want to. I, I want to channel that time to becoming an even better musician, you know, and expanding, you know, my, you know, production company, you know, um, into being what I really want it to be. So I guess the question for, for you is like, from my vantage point, like, how, how do you think I should go ahead and, you know, um, approach this? I don't think it's a big deal either way, to be honest, mm. because you know, you're going to be leaving. Yeah. You know, you're going to do Europe. Like I, I didn't, I didn't know the whole story coming into before doing this live, but yeah. Um, I don't think it's that big a deal, dude. Like you're going to, you're, you're, you're doing the music thing. You're going to get Europe back on track, whether it's in a month or three months or, or who knows however long until things open up and you can, you can, you know, get over there, but it's happening. So it's just, it just gives you a little bit more runway. If you want to stick with it, awesome. Gives you a little bit more runway. You can still work on your music. Like you're not you're not working 100 hours a week at this job. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. But but the the, the thing about it is, you know, their their initiatives. They're you know they're building out. They're building out what the job is going to look like post Corona. You know, to where we have to implement all these different things. You know, that people don't necessarily have to come in per se. You know, and that's going to take a lot of, you know, a lot out of me to be able to at the position that I'm at, you know, to be able to implement that for the company. And, you know, the resources is going to take out of me. I'd much rather channel that towards what yeah, I okay, really but how many to do. how many hours, how many hours is it going to take? If Like if you stayed in that job full time, let's say to the end of the year, worst case, how many hours is that taking out of your your week? Uh, worst case scenario, probably 55. OK. And week. what's like a what's a. Are you paid by the hour? Are you paid by the project or what? No, I'm, I'm salary. So salary. You know, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Even, even the worst case scenario. Mm -hmm. It's not that bad, dude. Yeah, no, I, I hear you. And you know, like, and it's, it's not going to, it's not like what you need to summon is the guy who like stopped on the street corner and like ran into Starbucks <laughs> and being late for the meeting. <laughs> like that's the guy yeah. who needs to show up. Right. Yeah. It, it's not going to be that draining on you if you if you have to do it. It's fine. Like it's just really a strategic decision. Do you need the money? Is it going to help you right now? You know, you're probably not making much from the from the music business yet. The opportunity kind of dried up. Yeah. Uh, so this extends your one runway. And end of the year, you'll be in Europe anyway. Like you're not going to be at this company end of the year. That's yeah. I mean, that's really worst case scenario that this stays like this until end of the year. Um, so whether it's a couple months or you just cut, cut loose right now, it doesn't matter. You've already decided. That's the point. It's like, you know, I, 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 decided. I, I decided 18 months ago and, you know, yes, I mean, the job is a job, but, you know, um, I, I have my kid that, you know, I have full custody of that, you know, that's, that's another full-time job, yep. you know, plus other things that, you know, I 
kind of don't want to disclose, you know, to, to, to the public, but, you know, accumulating all of that, you know, the stay at home schooling, all, all these different pieces of it, you know, I mean, back in the day I could actually do the job and like kiddo was a school. So, you know, I came back and I picked her up and, you know, we, we, we kicked off, but you know, we're, we're locked in 24 seven, you know? <laughs> so it's, you know, th- those are, those are these, those are those are different challenges. And like, when I'm done with that, when I'm done with her school and when I'm done with other stuff, like I'm drained, I'm done mentally, you know? And so for me, it's like, well, I don't need the, I, I'd like to extend my runway. Right. But I don't need to, because I have enough resources to last me for the next two years. You know, if, if I never had a nine to five, you know? And so, it, it just really boils down to like, what, why are you still doing this? Right. I don't see myself working. If, if I wanted to grow, I work IT. If I wanted to grow in the IT space, you know, I'll be, I'll be working for Google or Twitter. So yeah, I mean, yeah, if yeah. I wanted to grow in that level, you know, so I'm not growing. You know, you don't want to grow. We're not in yes. this like growth. Where's ski clef in five years? You're definitely exactly. not there for sure. But you've already made that. That choice has already been made up. You already made that. I mean, you've been planning this for 18 months. You've already set up and whatever. Listen, my whole book tour got canceled. All my speaking gigs are off. Like my yeah. life got, everybody's life has been thrown for a loop with this whole yeah. thing, right? Yeah. That's what it is. Great. You adjust and you keep going. If you're working from home. Yeah. When you apply the T-Clef hustle, you can get an eight hour day down into like five and a half hours of actual work. Because mm-hmm. they're not watching you and you yeah. don't have your commute. And you yeah. just hustle and grind and get it done. If you need it, to, you know, what actually, what the only thing is bothering me, to be honest, in this whole thing is like, I don't like that. I, I need the T Club grind and hustle like vibe back. Yeah. Yeah. You, you kind of like, like that's lost. You yeah. Should, like, you kind of give up on it a little I'm, bit. I'm in, I'm, I'm in my comfort zone right now. And that's why I want to have this conversation because, you know, I'm just, I'm just comfortable and I don't like that. You need to be the guy who stopped you know. me in Starbucks. Like, that's the guy who's like on his way to a meeting or whatever you're about to do. And it's like, no, I got to I got to I got to make this happen right now. Who knows? Yeah. I might have punched you in the face. Like, you don't even know what's going to happen. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's I like take that, you know, T-Clef saw an opportunity and the dude struck. Right. That's that's the like tenacity that's missing because all the, the energy I'm getting from you today is more like, well, you know, this is draining and that's draining and it's going to suck me dry. And like, dude, you can you can do all of it if you wanted to. I know, a, I, I know. I know. I do. I want to. That's the thing. Do but I want that, to? That part doesn't matter. Like, yeah. you want to. Yes. No. You know, it's not going to last longer than a couple of months anyway, even if you stuck with it. As soon as you get your European gig, you're off and doing that thing. What the 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 thing that needs to come back is like the, the tiger, man, the wolf, like the, yeah. the energy, the, the animal needs to come back out and say this, you've been through worse yeah. than this dude, <laughs> in terms of like draining yeah. moments in your life. Um, so whatever, it doesn't matter, man. You want to stick with it for three months, six months. You, you feel like you have a chance now to, to go off and now, like, what would you do? Maybe you just want to spend time with your kid. Maybe this is a great moment to spend time with your kid. And, and just bond for the next couple of months while, while they're out of school. Or maybe you want to hone in on your music and double down and like, how can you use the isolation time to, yeah. to be better, to be a yeah, better man. musician. Yeah. But, but I think it's just making the decision out of a place of like, what would the most confident, bold, wild, anger, bear, like t Clef show up and do and making it from that. Uh, that guy, that guy, that guy is going to call and turn in those two weeks today. Then do it, dude. Then do yeah. it, and then feel it, and feel the energy, and then and then pour that into whatever. And if that's your business, if that's your 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 child, if that's yourself, and you go on a two month meditation retreat, like I don't care. But making the bold decisions from that place, because that's where your music comes from. You don't you don't yeah. make music from this spot, dude. No, 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 no. I do not. I do not. Right. You know, and so it, it so, comes from pain. It comes from back being pushed to the wall. Like that's. Those are the things I write about. You know, comes so. from emotion. Comes from an emotional place, man. Yeah. And and the best songs. I mean, that's what that's what hooked me on your stuff. I didn't even know the. Yeah. I didn't even know what you were saying in your songs, right? You, it was <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, in English, dude. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I had that song on repeat for a good chunk mm. of my tour. Like I don't even know what he's talking about. Yeah. But I love it. <laughs> yeah. Right? Like great art makes people feel because yeah. it comes from an emotional place. Yeah. And now it's treating your whole life as art as opposed to just the music you're making. Yeah. 
So every decision you make has to come from a, a, an emotional place. Yeah. And so that fire, that bear, that wolf, whatever comes out. If that's, if that's what, so, you, so you quit your job today. Awesome. What do you pour your energy into? Um, everything that, you know, is just the music, you know, uh, pick up the guitar. I, I can't play the guitar. You know, I've always wanted to do that. So pick up. I just want to be a better musician. You know, I, I, I don't I don't suck right now, but, you know, I feel like it's it's ways that that I need to go. And, you know, I can't. I've always wanted to to get there and, you know, get back to writing a song a day and like all these things that, that, that I wanted to do. And, you know, I'm, I'm just not growing with, with the job. Yes, it pays the bills, but you know, like, like we said, I've, I've been planning for this moment for 18 months and, you know, so. So, I, I, so you I, quit I today, you go all into the music, but then you got to attack it, dude. You got to attack oh, yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Like, no, absolutely. like you treat it, like you wake up and it's not just, Oh, I can sleep in because it's. Oh, no, 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 no. Right? No, Attack no. it like a song yeah. a day, dude. Guitar. Yeah. Like, I got. I'm Hendrix by the end of this quarantine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's all, you know. Um, And, and, and like we. We, we prefaced it with this conversation my my heart already knew like what i what i had to do but you know um sometimes you just have to talk it over with someone you trust you know so thank you for I'm, taking i'm the so time. pumped up for you dude i'm so fired yeah. up i love it man i love it i love it <laughs> yes sir yes sir okay, um, okay well, what's in europe dude why europe what's happening there tell me um i think for for what i do you know um well, a lot of people don't know. I actually um, had a festival to do out there in Iceland. I never announced it because, you know, when other festivals started canceling, you know, I didn't want to announce and then, you know, it got canceled. So I'm um, supposed to do 15,000 people in, in Iceland. It's called the Secret Solstice Festival. So it was me, Lil Pump, TLC, Black Bear, um, a few other guys, you know. And, um, and yeah, that got canceled. So I do, I actually do a lot more numbers in Europe than I do in America. Huh. Um and, you know, the music that I make is way more accepted in Europe than it is in America, you know. Um, and, I mean, more importantly, like, you know, I, I did two European tours last year. So, you know, that's just really where, you know, that's the market. You know, that's where I could, I can, I, I feel like I'm making the most impact right now. So I'm just doubling down on that. And, you know, I'm still, I'm still American. So, you know, um, I'll, I'll always come back to America and do shows. But, you know, sometimes... You know, you, you have to you have to go out to come in. So, so are you moving to America? I'm uh, sorry, moving to Europe? Well, I'm not. There's no home base anymore. I mean, besides creating the foundation for my daughter here. Yeah. You know, um, I'm just worldwide. You know, I'm Nigerian. So, you know, I'm going to be bouncing between these different continents and, you know, just. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yes, sir. So, I'm yes, so sir. pumped to see your journey, dude. I'm so pumped Absolutely. to see your journey. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely, man. Send All right, lots sir. of love, dude. All right. Thanks a lot, man. Bye. All right. Much love. If you want another awesome video in our Black Excellence series, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there.